Morning, people. So we'll do a walk around. We've got a busy day today. So I've fed and walk, fed and get the fermented food. Just got to water. So we'll have a quick walk around and show you everybody's okay. You can see these are look. Booty girl. Booty girl too. Booty girl three. Attitude. So I'll do the rest of the walk around. Game pair. I think I'm gonna end up keeping that pair. She may make a good booty. Apparently they're really known and they can sit for a, I think I got her with 18 chicks. So they can sit on a large amount. But I'm not letting her sit till later in year. I've got too many booties as it is. So until I've reduced my chick numbers, then need no more booties. There we go. Adorable. Aren't they? Can't tell if they're straight feathered, silky feathered or what yet. Yeah, those are pretty birds. She'll be in a new pen tonight. We're moving her later. Look at her chicks. Two chocolate twins. Another pair of chocolate twins. She was a chocolate twin. Never know, might have some silky. She was in with Brennan, so Brennan's the daddy to all these, guaranteed. And Brennan is from Silky Lines. So we never know. We may have some silky chicks. They've had the food and water. Now they're playing in the water. Very pretty. Red cat brew. I kicked her off the nest. She was wanting to go broody. But we don't need no broody red cats. Don't need no more booties. Food everywhere. Oh, look, I forgot to undo the nails. You should be moving by this weekend. Hopefully I might have everyone move by this weekend. Ow! You'll have to excuse me, I'm a little bit. Pass me the water, please, Jade. I'm a bit of pain. Blue actually got me this morning. And I bruised up lovely, got me on my knee. Straight down side of my knee. I've got an itty bitty egg. A little bit of hole, and no major blood, bit of blood, but. 19 eggs. I really need to start collecting, so I've trashed the nest, pulled her off. She's not completely broody, so we should be all right. That hen is atrocious, her comb's flipping. Yeah, I might have to pull her. I might have to pull them all. Need new red caps, need new red, red cap male, need new blood. Jade, enough. Right, water please. These five. Right. We pulled some eggs out this morning, and you're going to laugh. Very occasionally, you'll get what's known as either a witch egg, fairy egg, or as I call them, a fart egg. And basically, it's absolutely minute version of the hen's eggs. Oh, look at the fart egg! Look at it. I'll show you later, because normally you don't find... There's not much yolk, or there's no yolk, and it's all white. Jasmine, go and take them back for me. Okay. Do you want to take the fart egg as well? Yeah. I'm sure we can fit the fart egg in. Can we fit the fart egg in? Be careful. Don't you can't incubate them. No way on this planet can we incubate them. <laughs> no, that's them guys. What can we do them? Get the boys. I'll sneak through the fire. It's nothing. The muscovies. Yeah, she's still sat on 20, which is a lot of eggs. She's still sat on 20. And there's seven at the side of her. They're not hers. So we will be moving her soon. When it comes to moving the muscovies. I will be moving them and she'll move with them. We're moving some bunnies this morning before we have to do as business as this afternoon, schooling and stuff like that. So we've got boxed up Charlesburg, which he's not impressed because he's a big bunny and that's the biggest box I got. And Mr. Mustafa Who's kicking his bedding everywhere? Because he's a typical boy. 
But now we have Charles Berg on the left, Mr. Mistopheles on the right. They've both got food, but they've trashed it. Mainly because he's sent marking. Blue's attacked me this morning. We've moved Dottie. Blue will be moved for our own safety tomorrow. Oh, right, yeah, Megs. Now, he got me this morning. Straight at the side of the knee. And it hurt. It still hurts. I've put Dotty in here for now. There'll only be two bunnies to move after today. She's had five minutes outside. It's just her and Sharon to move tomorrow. But by the end of tomorrow, because I'm taking the birdies as well today, by the end of tomorrow, this shed will be empty. Tasha and Nancy are doing fine. They've just been fed. They're only at half the hay. Chickadees are doing fine. I will be back up later. No problems with them because I need to bring the rest of the feed up. And we brought birds up. Well, bunnies and birds. Look at this gate. So, in this one, we have Broody without the chicks because it's not safe for chicks to be in this. She'll only be in this till she hatches and then she'll be moved. It's a tight squeeze, but it's nice and, it'll be nice and warm for her. She'll be okay. I'll put a cover over her at night. So I'm up here at night. That's where Blue's going. I'm tired of being attacked. These two are okay. Girls. The girls to get them some water, because they can get in you. A pot each. Jazz, go and get water. Get in, you two. And we have chocolate with her chicks. They did have food and water. But I will be back this afternoon. We have a cage for... Probably Dotty and Mel. And we just need a cage for Mr. Mustafalis. Not Mr. Mustafalis, Charon. Look, she's opening the door. She wants a drink. Charles Berg. Oh, no, his feet. He hates being moved. Stomps his feet a lot. But he'll settle down. We'll put some hay in later. Just hates being moved, that one. And then here. Mr. Mustafalis. Misty. Get him some food, water, some greens. It'll help him settle in. They're both locked. See you later, guys. Okay, so the little red dot is the spur that hit me and the bruising has started already. So you can see that was through jeans. <laughs>